Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Matthew Varga here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about private lending, what exactly it is, how it works, and how you can use it to help you retire early and gain financial independence. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you can get daily tips and strategies on how you can retire early and get financial freedom. Now I have mentioned private lending in a few of my other videos that I'll link right here, but I really think it's an underrated topic that isn't discussed very much. Most people talk about real estate investing or index funds or dividend stock investing when it comes to financial freedom. However, you never really hear anyone discuss private lending, which I think is a shame because it has a ton of potential. I think it's not discussed that much because it's not as well known of an investment strategy. It's not as mainstream, so it doesn't really get the love that it deserves. So let's jump right into private lending. Private lending is when an individual lends their own capital out to an investor or a managed real estate fund that's secured with a mortgage against a real piece of property. Essentially, private lending is an alternative to the traditional lending that you would get at a bank. Really, the basics of private lending is pretty simple. Person A has money saved up that they're looking to invest and get a good rate of return. And person B needs to borrow money for a real estate purchase or a business purchase or some other reason. After person A and B agree on the terms of the loan, such as the length, the interest rate, and any other criteria, the funds then flow from person A to their lawyer who organizes the loan to person B and is usually secured against a piece of property. This gives person A security that if person B didn't pay back the loan, they can take over that property, sell it or whatever they wanna do and get their funds back. This is no different than a bank lending out money as a mortgage and the banks make billions of dollars a year doing this. So if it's good enough for them, it's probably something you wanna look into to see if it's a good investment for you as well. All right, so now that we know what private lending is, let's talk about some of the main benefits of private lending. So the first benefit we have is high rate of return. So typically with a first mortgage, you're looking at getting between eight to 12%. And with a second mortgage, you can get up to 15% or even higher. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely not able to get that with my high interest savings account that I have with the bank. The second benefit is that it is RRSP eligible. So here in Canada, you can do private lending through your RRSP. Obviously most banks won't tell you this because they make a lot more money by lending out funds. So they don't want you to do it as well, but you can do it in your RSP. Now you would need to set up your funds with a trust account who works with self-directed RSP, such as we use Olympia Trust and they've been great. I definitely think this is a missed opportunity for people's RSPs because most people are just led to believe by the bank that all they can do is buy mutual funds in their RSPs, which of course have high management fees, which make the banks richer. The third benefit is that they are short-term investments. The great thing with private lending is that it's usually for six months to a one year term. So you're able to invest your money, get a great rate of return and not have it locked up for a long period of time. The good thing with that is that if you did end up needing those funds for something that's come up, your funds aren't locked up for years or you don't have to worry about selling in a down market and potentially taking a loss on your investment. Once the term of that loan ends, say it was six months to a year, at that point, you can either take those funds, reinvest it and keep making a great return, or you can take those funds and use it for something else. Benefit number four is the control you have over your investment. So the great thing with private lending is that you do have a lot of control over your investment. If you were to buy a stock, for example, you have no control over how the market reacts, how that company does or performs. You just do your research, buy the stock and hope it does well. However, when you're lending privately, you're able to review the deal to see if it meets the criteria that you have set in place. You can see the track record for the person that's borrowing that money from you. And you can set your own terms with the loan so that you feel comfortable. So that could include your max loan to value that you're willing to lend up to, or what type of properties you're willing to lend up to, or just making sure that you lend on A properties in A areas. So you have a lot of control over this investment. The fifth benefit is that your investment is secured against a hard asset. Asset. So normally when you do private lending, it's secured against a piece of property in the form of a mortgage, which gives you all the same rights and protections that a bank has when they do a mortgage. So if anything were to happen with your investment, you do have the ability to foreclose or do a power of sale, take that property back over and do a sale to recoup your investment. Okay, so those are some of the benefits to private lending. Now let's talk about some of the major concerns or questions that people have when it comes to private lending. So one of the main concerns people have with private lending is that they believe that only people with bad credit and who are high risk borrow money privately. Now this is a huge misconception. Sure, there are people with 
poor credit, that do need private loans, that go to those cash money mart places and take out these loans at high interest rates. However, there's this whole other world out there of people who borrow money privately for investment purposes. You have real estate investors, house flippers, people with businesses looking to expand, self-employed people with untraditional sources of income. Many of these people are multimillionaires flipping hundreds of houses a year, and they use private money because of the ability to borrow quickly and close on a good deal fast. Also, as I had mentioned in one of the benefits of private lending, you have control over who you lend your money to, so you can make sure that your criteria fits what makes you feel comfortable, which could be people with good credit who are just doing untraditional types of business. One of the other major questions or concerns people have is what if that borrower doesn't pay you the money back? So a lot of people are worried that someone's gonna borrow their money, then take off to Mexico with that money and you'll never see them again. First off, you should never give your money directly to a person. It should always flow through a trusted lawyer that you work with. And the fund should always be registered on the title of the property. That way you have the protection. So if a borrower were to default on the loan, you can foreclose on that property, take over ownership and look to sell it and recoup your investment. An important thing to note here is this is why it's important to know your risk tolerance and make sure the terms of your loan are structured to protect your money. For example, if you only lend funds with a max loan to value of 70%, that means you have a 30% buffer to protect your money and to protect your asset. So if you did have to take over that property, you've got that 30% buffer to allow you to sell that home and make sure that you can recoup your funds. So now that we know what private lending is, what some of the benefits are, and some of the answers to the major concerns that people have about private lending, let's get into the fun stuff, which is seeing how private lending might be able to play a role in helping you retire early and achieve financial independence. Typically when people talk about FIRE, which is financial independence, retire early, they're talking about using index funds or dividend stocks to help them achieve this. Normally when people are trying to figure out how much funds they need to have to be able to retire early, they're typically using the 4% rule to figure this out. If you guys want me to do a full video on how to calculate how much money you need to be able to retire early, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to do that video. Don't get me wrong, I definitely feel like index funds and dividend stocks are a great idea. I invest in them myself. However, the average dividend yield for some of these big blue chip safe dividend paying stocks is between one and 4%. For example, we have Coca-Cola, which is 2.96%. We have McDonald's, which is 2.17%. We have Johnson & Johnson, which is 2.44%. And we have 3M, which is 3.06%. Now, as I mentioned, one of the benefits with private lending is that high rate of return that you can get between that eight and 12%. This higher rate of return has the potential to help you retire early with a smaller amount of savings needed than some of those other options. Let's say that you make $40,000 in your job and your goal is to create enough income to replace that $40,000. In the first scenario here, we're looking at using dividend paying stocks. And let's just say we've built a good solid portfolio of blue chip, safe dividend stocks, and we're able to get a consistent 4% return each year. In order for you to make $40,000 with this dividend income at 4%, you would need to have $1 million invested. However, let's say you decide to go the route of private lending and after a bit of work, research, and finding good people to lend money to, you're able to consistently get a 10% rate of return. Now, in order to get that same $40,000 at that 10% interest, you would only need to have $400,000 invested. So as you can see, you need less than half the amount with private lending than you do with dividend stocks. Now, obviously this is an oversimplified example. It doesn't take into consideration inflation, changes in the stock price, changes in the interest rate, or any other regulatory things that could pop up. Just like all investments, there's many things to think about, take into consideration when you're weighing your options to see what is the best fit for you and works for you and your portfolio. But I just wanted to show you the potential of private lending so you can determine if you wanna do more research on the topic to see if it's gonna work with you and to see if it's something that might help you achieve your goals sooner. Hopefully after hearing some of the benefits of private lending and seeing an example of how it can work, you might be asking yourself, how do I become a private lender? Some of the main ways to get into private lending are you can work with a mortgage broker who specializes in private lending. So there are hundreds of brokers out there who specialize on this niche market that you can look to work with and they already have a ton of verified and qualified people that they lend their money to. So they're consistently able to lend your money out at good rates of return with A plus borrowers. The other option is to find people to lend money to through your own network. 
So perhaps you're part of a real estate investing club, or maybe there's one in your area that you could join, or maybe you have some friends or colleagues or people that you know who invest in real estate. By letting people know that you have funds that you're looking to invest, you might be surprised with who out there has a great deal that you would wanna lend on, and maybe you can create a good win-win situation. For example, we work with private lenders who lend us money for the real estate projects that we have on the go, and we're willing to pay a much higher rate of return for the speed and convenience of being able to get those funds to close on a deal quickly. If you guys wanna know more details or recommendations on brokers to work with, you can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at the email down below. All right, so there you have it. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about private lending, what it is, how it works, and maybe it's inspired you to want to do more research on this investment to see if it works for you. Private lending isn't for everyone. It can be a little bit more hands-on at first to get things set up, to build your network, to figure out your criteria for lending. However, once you have this set up, it can be an amazing passive stream of income that gives you a great return, secured against a hard asset that you have control over who and how you lend your money. This is something that you can't get with very many investments. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, and leave a comment down below letting me know if you've done any private lending before or if you have any questions about it and how it works and I'll be sure to help you out down there. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week.